Hey there everyone, back with another video and in this video we will be learning some of the interesting concepts in JavaScript. It's all about nested objects and array of objects. Guys, it's so uh, easy and it's so simple and it's also quite interesting too. Before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and also hit that bell button so that you will be notified whenever I come up with a new video. So now guys, uh, if you had watched my previous video where I have talked about objects and uh, I have explained you guys about objects in depth from scratch to other advanced and that will help you a lot uh, prior to this video. So if you haven't watched that, please go ahead and watch that. It is really, really uh, helpful for you guys to understand the core concepts of classes and objects, right? So now guys, uh, let's talk about uh, nested objects. So in the previous video, we had, uh, had a discussion about this person object, right? So we had uh, a simple object with uh, three properties, right? So name, age, and gender. So this is what we call it as key value page. So now guys, this is just a single simple object right so now what if i want an object within an object so this is what we call it as nested object so i want to have an object inside an object so now what i'm gonna do i will have another property for this uh you know outer object so in this uh, what i'm gonna do i just don't want this i'll just have a name over here instead of name guys i just i'll change this to uh name and instead of having a a string pr a value for that I will have an object like this inside of this object so now inside this uh, inner object over here I'm gonna have again a key value piece like uh, first name and I'll give first name as some something like uh, David and this is the first name and I also give it as middle name and I'll give middle name as uh, M I don't know what is that M means and also have uh, a last name of that person. So now last name will be, I'll just call it as something called as um, Joel. That's it. So now guys, as you can see here, we have an inner object right here, which is again a value for this a property called as name, which belongs to an outer object, right? So this is what you call it as nested object. So now if I just go ahead and uh, console it to the log about the person object, which is an outer object, right? So now guys, what will be the output? As you can see here, uh, we have got an object within an object. So if I just open up, open up this uh, object and as you can see here in the name, we have again an object, right? So again, guys, this is so simple and easy to define an object within an object. So now, guys, the question is how to access inner objects properties. So if I just say how to print the name of uh, the first name of the person. So how do you gonna do that? How do you print that? How do you access that? So it's again easy guys. You need to have a keys of that child property and then the key of the outer property. Just like if it's a uh, call as person dot name dot name has this object, right? So in this object, if you want to access first name again, you need to write first name. That's it. So you, you gonna do a uh, print a first name of a person which is inside a second object so now as you can see here we got David so similarly if I just change it to uh, let me say last name it's gonna print his last name right so this is how we will change no not change access right so again guys you can also change those properties like I will just say over here before printing to that again if I just say person dot name dot last name I'll just change it to something else like uh, ABC that's a random thing so now guys what will be the last name of the person it's ABC right so this is how we can make use of play around with the objects within an object which is nested objects right so this is it guys this is it all about nested objects and let's talk about array of objects
so guys uh, let's talk about arrays of objects and so guys so far uh, we have dealt with only one single object as you can see here even though it is a nested object it portrays an information about one single person so now what if you want to have some information about multiple person so now how do you do that you you need to have some kind of multiple objects right each objects have an information about one single person right so that is what we call it as multiple objects so we can do that with the help of array of objects right so now if you have an array of objects so all of those objects inside this array will be indexed right so let's talk about that in a just quick example over here i'll just change this so now guys what if i just change this to something like persons uh, okay and in the in that i will have the same information of this for multiple person like i'll just copy this and paste it over uh, here and now if i just have some kind of a comma operator here to specify the different uh, values for that and now guys if you want to do some kind of array of objects you need to have a bracket over here right so this is what we call it as a brackets to define an array so at the end you need to again end that array right so now guys this is it this is a single array of two objects right so the first object is the information of the first person and the second one will be the um, again it will be separated by a comma so the second object will be the the information of the, about the second person right so now guys if i do something called as if i just print it to a log of person now what it will be as you can see here guys it's an array of two objects right so as you can see this is uh, indicates the array length is two right so i just open up this as you can see the first array will be indexed zero right so the first object will be indexed zero and the second object will be indexed as one so this is what we call it as array of objects right so now guys this is it all about array of objects so now if i want to access the first objects so how do you access that so since it is an object, so you need to use this bracket. And if you want to access the first element, which is the first object, you need to use zero because again, guys, remember it is zero based array, right? It is zero indexed. So now, as you can see, it will be printing the first objects in that array. So similarly, if I want to access the second object, you need to write it as one. Boom, we got the second object, right? So yes, guys, this is all about a simple uh, array of objects and of course guys you can have n number of objects within this array right you can generate n number of objects inside this array and you can loop through that and play around that and you can use it for some processing and calculation and it's all dependent upon your logic right so this is all about array of objects in javascript and uh, so now guys again i just want to quick give you a quick information like what if you want to access the first name of first person right so first person will be zero based index right so it will be persons of zero if i just have a dot over here and say name which will give you what all of his first name um sorry for that yeah okay it should not be dot over here okay so now now guys as you can see it will print all the first name middle name and last name as an output right so it means it's the name of the first person and similarly if you, you if you want to access the first name particularly again you need to use that as first name that's it so now it will give it give you as david right so it is the name of the first first name of the first person in in our object of uh, yeah it's an array of objects right so yes guys this is all about the array of objects and accessing the array of objects and uh, playing around with the array of objects this is all about it and see you in the next video